unique situation that I, because of my job, I get to go visit places like this and spend time and talk to those who are involved and so on and and get all excited by them and so many people never heard of them. So w w there needs to be effort put into just um, making these visible to New Brunswickers so people see the real potential based on what our own people are doing in our own province on their own initiative yeah. uh, in a way in, in, in community. So it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or, especially if we looked at it on the scale of the Maritimes, what are the economic opportunities for utilizing waste streams, right, rather than just collecting them and sending them away somewhere yes. or dumping them in the river? Um, so so that's one of the things, actually, the Nordic Council has done quite a lot of work on. And uh, there's no reason we couldn't do that here and see with the, with the scale, Maritime-wide scale, then you would be generating volumes um, that, uh, you know, um, would make... The development of those kind of economic opportunities, uh, perhaps more viable, to uh, to deal with because you, you know you need a certain amount of uh, raw material to to do mm -hmm. manufacturing whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So uh, so there's an interesting possibility, and 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 we would have more a greater diversity of waste streams as well across the the entire region than than we do just here. So think of uh, even just producing biogas. So you know um, if we wanted to see more biogas production from waste streams, which is what uh, which is what uh, uh, the, the Forge brothers, uh, well, father and son, are doing. Um, they're using the waste from food processing and from uh, dairy production. Mm -hmm. uh, if you looked at it across New Brunswick or you looked at it across the Maritimes, so, okay, what are the sources? And part of their revenue uh, there is not just from the electricity they're selling from the biogas they're producing to, elect to MB Power, but the revenue they're receiving from McCain's and others who are shipping their what they were having to pay to get rid of to use the feed, as feedstock for generating power. So uh, it's scaling scaling that um, not up in terms of the magnitude of what they're doing, but, but distributing it around uh, the province and the region, taking advantage of the waste streams that are there. We've got seafood, we've got other food processing, we've got uh, wood production waste. Uh, wood product production waste and so on so uh, all kinds of but if you, you have to look at it in that kind of comprehensive way which is what the nordic council has done mm -hmm. and uh, it's 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 generated a lot of uh, new business activity while uh capturing the um those waste streams and reusing or recycling them um and they're very the nordic council is so clear uh about the agenda which is to drive the green transition in the nordic countries and, and this is part of it my hope absolutely is that that we actually are able to to get to this point where we trust each other enough and find the common ground uh, that where we can collaborate effectively and uh, and address things people are really concerned about. That's people want to see us work together to do that. And we need to find a way to work together to do that. Which is why my re response to the throne speech from uh, Premier Higgs uh, was that based on the success of minority governments in Canadian history like the famous one of Pearson, uh, the, the secret seemed to be uh, not putting water in your wine and, and making great political compromise, but finding the common ground of, on which you all can stand, work together, and achieve great things. Mm -hmm.